Hi there, welcome back to Bunderpedia. My name is Rob and uh, today we are here in a sort of a forest with a lake. You can see it behind me. Uh, and that is not the, the pier we created in another tutorial. Just a random one, you can see them everywhere right here. Today I'm on the hunt for textures. I want new fresh textures that I can uh, use for uh, new tutorials. And maybe when we find a cool looking nature scene, uh, we're gonna create a one. But I'm not sure about that because uh, there's a lot of stuff and I want, don't want to make that uh, uh, way too hard uh, tutorial. So when I see something that's really cool and we can, what we can create in uh, one hour, one hour thirty, uh, yeah, we'll definitely make that. Uh, the weather is pretty good. Uh, one hour ago the sun was shining so there was a lot of shading everywhere. And now it looks like there's everywhere clouds and that's perfect. So yeah. Uh, here we are again and as you can see we are in nature and there is a path or uh, street here and I think this is pretty usable because <clears throat> uh, when we zoom in uh, like, like, like this when we make a photo yeah we can use that and uh, yeah use that for streets and stuff like that uh, yeah I just want to show you that that this is a great way or a great piece of texture and you can find these things everywhere just uh, look for it and when the Sun was shining and it was a tree you can see everywhere little bits of Sun streaks and uh, and then you can't uh, use it so yeah here we are in a very cool place uh, I'm zooming in a bit this is not really for an, uh, the scene I was looking for but I was looking for textures and then I seen some uh, leaves but then there was uh, moss, and you think, yeah, moss, pretty cool. Why should I? Uh, why should you explain something about that? Well, this moss was pretty easy to create, and I'm gonna explain uh, why. Uh, it's really look, looking like a plant. But later on in the tutorial, I will uh, show you how to create this tuning moss because it's really looking great. Now you think maybe you are a lunatic? That's that, that's fine. <laughs> But I think we all want to create some uh, very uh, epic stuff and I think we can create it with this. So here is a bridge, that white thing over there. And when I turn the camera, look over there, it looks like all trees there on the ground. But if we zoom in, we can see these things are great for textures. So the back of these trees, all individual are a large amount of new textures for me so yeah I'm happy with this so here we are in the middle of the forest and I found something pretty cool it was this tree lying here and the fun thing is this thing really looks smooth so when I zoom in and creating this angle or zooming a bit out like this and there are some points where it's annoying, but it's really illegal. Uh, smooth uh, surface. And we can use this for a very nice bark texture. I will show you that later on. So yeah, this is a great tree for a texture. I'm happy I found this. It's just there in the nature. Laying there waiting for me. Anyway. I'm here in front of this road and there's not a lot of stuff going on but what i like is this sign or some graffiti on it and i can use it for every scene i made because it's time well, it's not timeless but it's pretty random but same for this uh, bin it's uh yeah easy to create make some textures from that iron and from the bin and that's it so we're now on the end of this trip for hunting for textures uh, one last thing what I wanted to show you is this bridge uh, looks pretty cool I think maybe I can model that in a new tutorial um, it's it for now I think we've seen a lot of cool things and you can see it's not that hard to find textures when the Sun is not shining because it's now shining in my face so it was not that great but I have some cool pictures um yeah 
I think that's it, pretty much. Uh, hope to see you next time, and uh, see you later. Bye.